Okay, hello everyone. I was off screening a bit when a few things have happened. I didn't get much done, I just set up most of the workshop area to be removed. And all of a sudden, an ambush popped up. Another ambush, of course. But this one was in an interesting area. It appeared on top of the mountain that we're residing in. Stray about over there. But our iBots have literally been murdering the entire enemy army. They've expended almost all of their ammo shooting at them. And the iBots are just tearing them to pieces. This is what used to be a super mutant that has a shield and sledgehammer in it. There's blood everywhere. There's another dead body. There's another dead body. That one's rather important. But the main reason I'm making this update video is because they're starting to get pretty close. I just looked over here and noticed that they can make it. They can walk right here. If they go diagonally. So, or they can get up on top of this wall and fire down on us, which I think this guy's going for. I didn't see him before no forbid that bullet. But he's the what are you? He has a sledgehammer. So I won't be too worried about him. He'll have to come down the other way. But most of my military is out getting supplies. We've just got a few of our marksmen. Maybe a melee person scattered in here somewhere. But I'm going to move them all up. All of them over to here. I'm just worried about them taking off for the person up above, the mutant up here. I don't want them to do that. So let's go ahead and unpause it. These mutants don't have guns either. That one might. Nope. I think he's a wrestler. Here comes my other military. Oh, my people are shooting. And the iBot's going to tear that one to pieces. So the recruit, my name's not Lily. He fired a bullet. But the super mutant jumped away from it. The music seems really loud. Oh god, that's way too loud. There we go. So, first shot has been fired, finally. Watch as the iBot tears it to pieces. Wow, that thing can dodge. I thought I just saw something come flying over here. Oh well. Oh wow, it got a lucky hit on my iBot. I about bashed it in the leg, and then they jumped back and forth a bunch, and then they hit it in the armature. And jammed the circuits there, and then it bashed it in the head, wherever the iBot's head is. It's just an eye. And it completely broke it, shattered the hydraulics and the processor. It shut down, just fell to the ground. He's probably teabagging it right now. But... What, what are you doing? Razor, stop it! No, Razor, you're running the wrong way. Oh, God. So they're now climbing the walls. And there goes my military. I knew this would happen. I knew it would happen. Um, leaning forward to my screen, because I don't know what these are. Hyphers. They're green, so that means guns. Um, now the music's really... Oh, now it's off completely. Seven. Five. Five seems good. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my range squad out here a bit. I don't want any of them to go over the edge, however. And I want my other squad to just ignore the enemy. Ignore them. Can't I tell you to ignore them? I can probably tell them to... to go inactive, but then they run everywhere. Probably get themselves killed. Um, where's the orders? There's schedule, there's select individuals. I'm not seeing any orders. So, Life Hole, Mr. Moon Pop, Frozzy Cube, Gnomim, which you've corrected me several times and I keep mispronouncing it. I'll just keep calling you Gnomim. Mercury, Link, not a Quizzling. No Mole, that's a pet. It's Gnomim's pet. And Panda nu Pando Pando Nuclear. Kind of nuclear war. You're all gonna die. You are inexperienced and you're charging super mutant hammerman and maceman. I'm trying to remember my colors. 
So, go get killed. There you go. There you go. That's right, everyone dies. We've Mercury here, who just broke his hand and bruised some of his arm. Lifehold became a swordsman, but he is knocked unconscious. Yeah, as is Mercury, so... Mr. Moonpop broke his foot. Let's look at the mutants, shall we? A bruise? Nothing, nothing, nothing. You guys are all screwed because you were all decided to be idiots. I'm gonna tell you to move back here. You can probably notice I don't really care about them being killed because I know there's nothing I can do. This is why I should have only made riflemen. Worst I'm gonna get is lose some gear. If I can fight off the siege, I won't be sieged again for a while. Give me some time to build. Because I do have some constructions in mind. Quite a few people are gonna be pretty pissed, so yeah. No, you stupid marksman! What are you doing? Okay, now these people, I don't want to die. Why don't you just move back a bit? Rye guy, you're charging them. What do you have? You have a water skin. You have a quiver with 25 pistol bullets. And an assault rifle, of course. Crap, that's right. Did you idiots really pick up pistol ammo? You have a pipe rifle, and... And I know I have plenty of rifle ammo. And pistol ammo, yep. So, Rai Guy and Obi-Wan are going to go die. And a farmer, random farmer, the noob that got away, is getting away. So everyone's getting murdered. And iBot's in there, that should help turn the tide, but... They're shooting at us from up above now, that's not good at all. Let's go ahead and track this bullet. Just went down a level. It's floating a bit more. Down another level, and it just barely missed. So let's see, Nomim, you're actually doing reasonably well. You are now a spearman, by the way. Master Chief, he's doing reasonably well. He's a maceman, of course. Frozy Cube, you're doing decent. Your upper leg's fat has been bruised, I think. Obi-Wan's fine. Mr. Moonpop is all screwed up. Guy, you're very unhappy because you have to fight, you lazy person. Mercury is still just laying over there in a puddle of his own blood, but there is a knocked out mutant here, laying on top of a knocked out moon pop. So we may actually win this battle, but then our military is going to charge up here and get torn to pieces by the uh, gunfire. So let's watch them die now. Go ahead and refresh that. Oh, someone killed a mutant. If any of you survive this, oh, people are dying. At least I think people are dying. Rai guy's probably been knocked out. Ibot bit it. Uh, meanwhile, everyone can unsuspend these floors. And who do we have here? Link? People who are actually being useful. Oh well, go get yourselves killed. No one's died yet. I'm disappointed. Charge up here. If you guys survive this too, I will send you all after this group over here. Uh, fight's going reasonably well. Ton of people are injured. No one, everyone, stop claiming, quit claiming them. You don't need any of this crap. You don't need it. You don't need it at all. Forbid. None of that. You need none of it. Why? Why do you guys keep coming? Oh God. <laughs> Hello, thief. So a, ra a raider thief just decided to try to pick a mutant's pocket. The mutant saw him and punched him in the head. Um, or cut open his head, probably stabbed him with his gun. What is your gun? He has a steel rifle, so he just bashed him in the head and cut it open. And the raider thief stabbed the mutant in the arm and bruised it. I am adjusting position in my chair because I can. So the thief's going to get torn to pieces because no one likes a thief now, do we? Somehow the mutant got stunned, lifehole, just suffocated, as you can see. So goodbye, lifehole. I don't even think you watched the series, oh well. The raider thief got away, but he screwed up the mutant big time. Cut open his leg, broke his leg, bruised his leg. So yeah, and who is this brave soul? Obi-Wan? Naturally. 
I think they dealt with all the enemy troops down there. Someone's carrying someone inside. iPod Min Merlin? Ipod Min Merlin? I don't know. You are hauling a life hole. So that's just one down. Everyone else is either knocked out or bleeding. People are charging, which I'm pleased with. Why is there a baby here? Borko, drop the baby. Bad Borko. Um, Obi-Wan is being slowly murdered. And the reinforcements have shown up. That's, I think, a good thing about enemies with guns. Oh, we broke the siege, by the way. They don't fight very well. Um, let's go ahead and look at this. Chief Therapist got injured or something. Whoa. I looked away for the screen there. There is someone's lower back tooth, naturally. Teeth fly out in every battle. Um, this mutant's almost dead because Borko leveled up and is tearing his fingernails off. <laughs> uh, someone broke the thief's skull. The super mutant's probably shooting at the thief, or was. Knocked the thief out cold. As soon as the StarCraft music plays in the background. Two of them have died. Three of them, four of them. Grimmith just died. I'm not pleased about that. I wanted him to last for a while. Oh well, Grimmith 2 is going to come in the next migrant wave. Because he deserves a revive. Every death. So here we have someone who died a long time ago. I'm going to go ahead and take his stuff. It's right there. No need to not take it. Someone died here, too. Maybe this is a Grimmith? No, Vomit. Probably someone else. Um, did we, did we win? There's just three people here. And no others. Everyone's probably being carried to the medic room. Oh, who's that? Mercury's hobbling away. His hand's broken. He's ex in extreme pain. Let's go ahead and look at all the bodies before I end the episode here. Copper Super Sledgehammer, I'll take that. I'll also take your shield. And all of his large stuff, why not? I can trade it. Can't wear it, but I can trade it. And he has a nice steel combat helmet, I might melt that down. Some more stuff, I'll go ahead and take this. I missed something. Iron Crowbar, don't mind if I do. Shield, I'll deal with this later. Helmet, okay, stop. So we had our first major fight of the vault, and a snatcher showed up. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. It is standing by Mary, who doesn't have Pippin. Mary Fire Mansion, nice name. Oh, oh, I think it stabbed him. Nope, and it's a mutant thief. He dropped whatever he was carrying, probably a random bullet. A knife. Stop suspending these. Okay, so we have a rainbow of dead things down here. Which is good. Life hole, I thought someone carried you away. This must be your upper half or something. Or they decide to put you back. One of those. Uh, two people have died. Grimmith and Life Hole. That's right. Oh, oh. Nope, nope. I thought... Now that Quizzling saw someone. Refresh this. And send the military A, of course, back down here. No more fighting, which is great. I'm going to check over here for any other mutants. No other mutants. And everyone is claiming everything. Okay, go ahead and reclaim all of this. All of this stuff as well, because I want their guns. And I don't see anything here when we don't need teeth and all that. Okay. The Raider Thief's trying to still get away. So, that was a pretty good fight. Actually, A can stand down com Crap. Okay, just the Thief. Where? Over here. Okay. Rings of Stasis. You guys can stand down for now. Smiths of Winding... If you're injured, you can deal with it. You decide to get yourself injured, so I don't care about you anymore. 
Okay, have an injured iBot too, and with the animal training the way it is. Hey, that's a Protectron actually. He's missing both of his hands. Cool. Might end up getting to build a sat statue even out of him. Or melt them down, I don't care. A piece of iron, cool. Okay, everyone, where is everyone? No one's standing here anymore? No, nope. good. Gonna have to check the weapon stocks after this. Um, B, you can go ahead and stand down too. Go get some food, go get some training. I think, yes. Go ahead and build the walls here now. Make this out of whatever this is made out of. What is this? Chert. Make a wall out of chert. Um, where is all my chert? There it is, of course. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and end the, this video here. I'll off-screen a bunch more. And hopefully I have a construction for you guys to come back to. Or another siege for more deaths. Actually, it's 16 minutes. I'll go ahead and go over some stuff. Might just start making 20 minute episodes. But we finally scattered all these bolts and bullets. All rifle ammo because I wasn't retarded when I decided to make those. Some highwood ammo. Cool. Featherwood ammo. Devastating. Light as a feather, but it cuts like a razor or something. And that place is going to be really difficult for me to look at because of all that bows and stuff. Oh well. Go ahead and let them get back to what they're doing actually. I want to check on my military. That's the dining room, isn't it? Nope, 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 nope. Nope. There we go. Hmm. Stock rooms are coming along pretty nicely too. What is this again? Anglestite lead, yes. So now we have Nan Quisling, who is a novice swordsman. He's gotten his new sprite. Dabbling miscellaneous object user, probably... I actually don't know how you got that. Stop it. Gnomim is now a spearman, because I don't know what he's holding. He has a iron power armor on, so that's kind of nice. Iron combat helmet. Iron combat leggings, so he's kind of decked out in some decent gear. I don't see a weapon for him, though. Iron, no. Iron bayonet. He's holding a bayonet. I see. So he stabs with the bayonet, naturally. Uh, I don't know. You can probably just barely see a piece of the steam message there. Just ignore that. Even though I pointed it out. My name is not Lily. He's still a nothing. Nameless one from, I think, the Goth Gothic series? Gothic series, maybe two worlds, I can't remember. Flashlight, you're still nothing. Uh, no one's actually training. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? So in the hospital here, we have a Mr. Moon Pop, who is pale. He's probably going to die. His spleen's all messed up, his foot and his arm. Mercury, he didn't get too bad. Just a hand wound. Cut open hand, a splint. Some dressing, that'll probably deal with it. Plump Helmet Punk, you got hurt. Right lower arm, left upper leg, left lower leg. It's all torn to shreds. His left upper leg is cut open, so the others must just be bruises, you wimp. Frozzy Q, what are you doing in here? You don't have a wound. His hand is cut open, never mind. Solon, oh, Borko is in here. His body and his arms cut open. He's holding a baby, combat baby. Obi-Wan's all screwed up, his upper body is all mangled and twisted. Joe, my actually no right guy. His hand and arm are cut open. And Joe, you're just bruised, aren't you? Yes, you're just bruised. Get out of that bed. Go make me some armor. So, that was a decent scrap. Probably going to get a bunch more guns out of it too, which is nice. I would like my people to not carry pistol ammo, but there's not much I can do about that right now. Random Snatcher is going to cause everyone to stop their jobs and cause me to have to unsuspend a bunch of crap. Nope, not that time. Oh, someone shot it! Or it just decided to pass out. Why is it Why is it not moving? Oh. <laughs> okay, if 
if I read this correctly. Food is blistered, other food is blistered. That means that this mutant, her, that means she's been running through alien acid blood. I think, yes, there's alien acid blood here. So I'm gonna go ahead and deal with that now, but that's kind of, kind of funny. I want some, I want one of my groups to come out here. I'll send one of my ranger group, my only ranger group actually out here, before it can hobble away on its blistered feet. Let's see who gets the kill for that. I should probably go through kills, huh? Yep, unspin that. Stupid thief, go away. Oh, someone's coming out. My name is not Lily, he's going to combat training. Oh, and they're shooting it. Lily and Nameless One are both going to town. He's all screwed up now. She, actually. And even Ibot got in on it. But there's another thief who decided to run through the acid. Maybe I shouldn't cover up that acid. It's kind of... Yeah, don't cover up that acid. Just set up a traffic zone. I think it was DB. Nope, D... I don't know. D... O? O. Forbid. Restricted, actually. Right there. I guess I can forbid this now. Unforbid it. God. You can guys can now walk there. Okay. Finish killing the mutants. I bought. Protectron, actually. Lily's Protectron. Okay. You guys killed it. Go back to your duties. Hey, what did I push here? A snatcher. I think the snatcher died instantly, actually. Probably. Nope. That was a partial skeleton. Okay, let me do this again. Now you can go back to your thing. Oh, they're shooting at it. Kill it. Hit it with a rock. Knight, you're in the line of fire. The Ibot slash Protrectron caught up with it. Another thief popped up here, so I'm going to go ahead and keep my archer group out here. He's probably going to slash one. Nope. Actually, you guys, yeah, come back here. Be our caravan guards. I hope that doesn't keep tearing away my vision, though. I also hope I have enough cloth to treat these people. I know I've been buying cloth a lot. I do. I do. I'm just paranoid about stuff like that. I need a dedicated doctor. That's what I need. We already listened to this song once, didn't we? I really need a dedicated doctor. Got some more beds. <coughs> No new bedrooms yet, though, and I won't need new bedrooms because a couple people died. That means the people who didn't have bedrooms could get them. There's the wooden protract on. Protractor on, even. Maybe yeah, I should make some pistols. Nah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Went over everything I wanted to. Spring has arrived, and because I'm lazy, I didn't set up the autosave system. So. I'm going to go ahead and build some stuff now, so I'll see y'all later. It won't be the best, best things to be built, but it'll still be something. Maybe. <laughs>